Someone has broken into the National Bank, the Federal Reserve, a 21st century thief breaking into files, not into metal safes. The mysterious group Anonymous has struck again with targets as of late. For starters, the hacktivist organization Anonymous has announced plans to take down the Fox website on November 6th. 623 in the East, and new this morning, U.S. government websites now back online after facing a major attack from online activist group Anonymous. Anonymous lashed out after the Department of... When a 16 and a half minute phone call between the FBI and Scotland Yard suddenly appeared online overnight, it got our attention. The call was meant for investigators only, but the hacker group called Anonymous was secretly listening and... Well, you've heard of the hacker group that calls itself Anonymous. They're hacking activists, Wall Street occupiers, they love them, corporate security hates them, and the FBI is tracking them down. Just So who are these people? Greetings, citizens of humanity. Jeremy Hammond, who is in prison for hacking servers of the private intelligence company Stratfor, and leaking its information to WikiLeaks, has been held in solitary confinement for more than six weeks and will stay there, pending a prison investigation. Hammond entered a segregated housing unit in mid-July, based on a disciplinary infraction incurred while serving time, at the Federal Correction Institution in Manchester, Kentucky. He was scheduled to spend 45 days there, with his release date expected to be around August 20. In a letter dated August 18 Hammond told his support network that he was still in the segregated housing unit and had no insight into how long he will stay there, according to FreeJeremy.net. Hammond, who has yet to be charged for the disciplinary issue, said he was informed by prison officials that he would stay in the segregated housing unit, pending SIS investigation by an internal prison police unit known as Special Investigative Services. Hammond said he was not told that what the unit is investigating, nor how long he will have to wait for its conclusion. Prisoners can be held in a segregated housing unit for up to 90 days without being charged. If Hammond is charged for an infraction as a result of the investigation, the time he spent in the segregated housing unit since July would not count toward any punishment he receives, FreeJeremy.net explained. Hammond's 10-year jail sentence is one of the longest a U.S. hacker has ever received. He pleaded guilty to breaking into the Stratfor Intelligence Company's website, eventually entering prison on November 15, 2013. Hammond was one of the FBI's most wanted cyber criminals and was placed on an FBI terrorist watch list. Stratford lost more than $1 million due to the Chicago natives' actions. He was eventually arrested after being outed to the authorities by a fellow hacker, who was working as an informant for the FBI. Hector Xavier Munsigwa, who went by the name of Sabu, advised Hammond to hack the Stratford website before he turned him into the authorities. It eventually came to light that Munsigwa directed others towards vulnerable targets and orchestrated anonymous cyber attacks against the websites of foreign governments, all while under the constant watch of the FBI, supporting Hammond's claims that the FBI guided Anonymous into conducting cyber attacks at the agency's behest despite the illegality involved. Hammond has said he was drawn to Anonymous given he believes in autonomous, decentralized direct action. I had a lot to contribute, including technical skills, and how to better articulate ideas and goals. It was an exciting time, the birth of a digital dissent movement, where the definitions and capabilities of hacktivism were being shaped. He said in a November 2014 interview with the Associated Press. He said that he was always motivated to target powerful entities with high-profile websites. From the start, I always wanted to target government websites, 
but also police and corporations that profit off government contracts, he told Associated Press. Hammond has been denied recent visits from family members. We are anonymous. To the corporate paid federal correction institution, we are watching. You cannot stop anonymous, expect us.